Amen. Shabbat Shalom. I would like to read from Hebrew 10, uh, verse 36. For you have a need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promise. This is uh, the word which uh, we can uh, say it's true for every believer today. Because tough times are coming. But endurance, it goes together with patience. And this is probably the word which, uh, or long suffering. And the way, the only way which, how we can develop that quality, which is basically patience, the fruit of the spirit, by suffering long. And we can go back to the times of Moses. We remember that uh, Moses was spared by the hand of God and he was uh, raised by the daughter of Pharaoh in, the, in his house. And uh, by age of like 40, he realized that he is uh, Israelite and he fell for his people. And when he noticed the fight, he protected Israelite by killing Egyptian. And then next day he noticed two Israelites fighting and uh, he heard a comment from one of them, are you going to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? And at this point he got frightened and he ran. He ran for his life. And he ran in the wilderness. And for 40 years he'd been in the like, deepest de desert. And what was God doing with his servant, whose destiny was mapped out from the beginning? He was working on developing patience. And we remember in Numbers was said later on that Moses was the meekest man on the face of the earth. And uh, just uh, understanding what he had to deal with when he led the people of God from the e Egypt, how much patience he had to have to deal with the stubbornness, with misunderstanding, with uh, uh, God's people. As uh, um, I said before, they got out of the Egypt. But in order for God to get Egypt out of his people, it took so much patience on the God's, so on the, for the God, and he's still, still patient with his people, and will be patient for in the long run as well, and with us too. And teach his servant that patience so he can deal with his people in, uh, in the wilderness. And, uh, but he lost his school once. And um, we remember uh, that he was denied to enter in the promised land. So this is a quality which God really looking in his servants. And remember the David. Let's go and look at the David. Remember, David was anointed king. He was wonderfully anointed. But it took uh, so much testing and teaching David patience. And uh, he could have taken a kingdom when Saul was close by and people were telling him, he's in your hands, just kill him and the kingdom will be yours. And it would be uh, probably true, but this was not the God's plan. He was checking his heart and he wanted to develop that patience which David need, needed to lead his people as a leader, as a king. And uh, this is something which Lord really will uh, put us through, through the trouble, tribulations, testing, in order to develop that fruit of the Spirit in us. And we just uh, have to say, thank you, Lord. Do whatever it's need, it needs, to, but that we will have that quality, because through the faith, not just only through the faith, in patience, we will enter in the kingdom of God.